property of addition and subtraction of matrices is that you can only add or subtract two matrices when it has the same order. So we have here four given matrices, matrix A, B, C, and D, with different orders. So for matrix A, we have a 2 by 3 matrix. For matrix B, we have a 3 by 2 matrix. C is a 2 by 3, and D is another 3 by 2. So if we're going to evaluate A plus C, which means matrix A plus matrix C, it's going to be possible because the order of matrix A and matrix C are the same. So since they are the same, we can simply add each entry or each corresponding entry of matrix A to matrix C. So we'll have 2 plus 4, which is 7, 1 plus 1, which is 2, 2 plus 3, which is 5, for our first row. And for the second row of our matrix, we'll have 4 plus 6, which is 10, 5 plus negative 7, which is negative 2, 0 plus 4, which is 4. So the sum of matrix A and C is simply 7, 10, 2, negative 2, 5, and 4, which is another 2 by 3 matrix. And that is one of the properties that you need to remember in adding and subtracting matrices. You can only add or subtract matrices with the same order. So for number 2, if we're going to subtract matrix D and B, you need to first inspect if matrix D and B have the same order. So for matrix D, I have a 3 by 2 and B another 3 by 2. Since they have the same order, we can subtract matrix D and matrix B by their corresponding entries. So if we have negative 3 minus 2, we'll have negative 5. Negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. 0 minus 4 is negative 4, 5 minus 3 is 2, 9 minus 0 is 9, and 8 minus 1 is equal to 7, which is another 3 by 2 matrix. And for example number 3, if we're going to uh, add A or matrix A and matrix B, which we know is a 2 by 3 to be added to a 3 by 2 matrix, since they order is not the same, it is impossible to combine A and B through addition. So that means A plus B is a null matrix or an empty matrix because it's not possible to combine A and B by addition. Another operation in a matrix is the scalar multiplication. So scalar multiplication is basically distributing a constant outside the matrix into each entry in a given matrix. So I have here four given matrices, matrix A, B, C, and D, in their corresponding orders. Now if we're going to perform a scalar multiplication, for example number one, which is 3A, all we need to do is to distribute 3 to our matrix A. So matrix A is 3, negative 1, and 4, distributing 3 to each of the entry, we'll have 9, minus 3, and 12. So this is our 3A by scalar multiplication, which is another 1 by 3 matrix. Now for example number 2, we'll perform 2B minus D, so we first need to check if matrix B and matrix D have the same order. So B is a 2 by 2 and D is another 2 by 2, so it's possible to um, subtract the two matrices. So first you need to simplify the scalar multiplication by distributing 2 to matrix B and you'll have 6, 0, 2, and 10 minus matrix D which has 3, negative 1, 1, and 1, in their end as their entries. So 2b minus d will give us 3119. And for our third example, we have negative 3c plus 2a. C is a 1 by 3 and a is another 1 by 3. So we can combine them, but first you need to simplify the scalar multiplication of each matrix. So we have negative 3 times 1, 2, 3 plus 2 distributed to 3, negative 1, and 4. So we'll have negative 3 plus 6, which is 3, negative 6 plus negative 2, which is negative 8, and negative 9 plus 8, which is negative 1. And those are some of the operations that we could use in evaluating or simplifying matrices.